Ukrainian forces appear to be focusing on creating an asymmetrical attrition gradient that conserves Ukrainian manpower at the cost of a slower rate of territorial gains while wearing down Russian manpower and equipment. This is the latest assessment by the Institute for the Study of War. The US-based think tank says the current pace of Ukrainian operations is not indicative of a stalemate or evidence that Ukraine cannot retake large areas. Let's take a closer look at the map. Ukrainian forces have liberated territory in multiple areas of the front since the start of the counteroffensive in early June. Now, Ukraine's deputy defense minister, Hanna Malia, reported that Ukrainian forces have liberated the total of 37.4 square kilometers on eastern and southern fronts in the past week. Now, the Institute for the Study of War says that the geolocated footage from the 5th of July shows that Ukrainian forces have advanced southwest of Berhivka, about six kilometers northwest of Bakhmut in this area, also west of Yahidne, which is about two kilometers north of Bakhmut, and also in the southwest of Bakhmut in this direction. Now, Russian mean bloggers reported that Ukrainian forces liberated an important height near Klishivka. You could see it right here, which is seven kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, but have not liberated the settlement itself. Some mill bloggers claim that the settlement of Klishivka, which is still under Russian control, is not as important as the heights in and around this settlement. The Institute for the Study of War says the current Ukrainian counteroffensive is less dramatic and rapid than the one that liberated much of the region of Kharkiv more successful than the failed Russian winter offensive and generally most like the slower but ultimately successful Kherson counteroffensive in its pace and initial progress.